beginning of this year, you might remember a picture taken on New Year's Eve that went viral. Yes, it's worth taking a moment to remember this one. You might have seen it at the time. It was a photo showing revellers on a night out uh, in Manchester. But it seems like this, seen up and down Britain, of course, at the weekend, being brought to life in an award-winning one-man play. Yes, we're joined now by its writer, Jim Cartwright, and its star, his son, James Cartwright. What a great <laughs> collaboration. Good morning, both. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. morning, morning. <laughs> um, Jim, should we start with you? Go on, then. How did you... <laughs> Got to start somewhere. That's right. Why not start, start with the, the good-looking one? Yes, yeah, start with the good-looking <laughs> one. Start at the bottom. Watch it. You can see why you, why you like working together, or maybe you don't. Um, why why come up with why do uh, something about a night out? Has it changed since uh, well, you I were going to out? To do something about the socio socio-economic. Um, uh, Really, I just want a night out. <laughs> and at my age, I can't get a night out, so I wrote about it. And is there a difference, though, between the night out at, when you were going out when you're young and now? Oh, no, of course, yeah. It's a completely different thing now. I mean, we, well, pub close at 11, you know, last smooch in the disco at 2, if you were lucky, you know, taxi home, and that was it. I'm just curious, can we go back to the image, the, the original photo? Because yeah. when you, this was the inspiration, wasn't it? You, is that right? You saw the picture uh, and you thought there are stories that are... Well, that's because that's because it's in there, lying in broad. That's me doing research. <laughs> can you see you the blue? You shouldn't make jokes like that. <laughs> people will believe you. Well, it was recent. <laughs> someone, someone had to do it. That's just just, just explain what was it that fascinated you about the picture? Uh, well, no, the pic actually, the picture came after the show. The show had already opened in Edinburgh. And the picture just confirmed... Uh, what we were doing really yeah. there were loads of pictures came out around that time from all over the country uh showing these nights out mm. Mm. and tell us a little bit about the play what happens yeah it's, it's a one-man play and uh, and it just follows the journey of a night out so you know as as you do you start in your bedroom there's this thing now preloading so everyone gets really drunk before they go out then you leave the house you know and then you get a taxi into town and you, it takes you on the journey on all the different pubs you know and, and i play all the different characters like there's always taxi driver you know i take you into town and there's also i do all the different characters there's a couple of mad girls you know do all that and my mother as well you know so i do all the different all the different things you know. should, we see you, should, should we have a look at you when you're playing your character oh, you Shane? Can do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, getting that taxi Which driver will it be one of three <laughs> fiery dan taxi taff the swamp <laughs> wait for it <laughs> Wait for it! Here he comes, nuzzling up to the curb in his lollopin sedan. Crunch of the gear, red dragon sticker in the rear. It's the Welshman, I get in. The smell of a thousand passengers. Bouncy seats wobbly as drunk's bellies. All over the place we go, bobbing up and down like lottery balls. He's a bumper car driver tap, bashing into the night, knocking lumps out of it. He's fashioned right up from the same cracked beige cover of the seats. A stretched leather complexion, <laughs> like Clayman from the Fantastic Four in a cap. Are you anxious watching that? Which is which, yeah, it, it, which you is... know, it's doing a one-man play. The anxiety is like nothing I've ever felt. You know, because you're on your own. Yeah. So you know, if you if you, if you mess it up, you. You know, it's, it's terrifying. And also, if you forget your lines, there's no one to help you. So every night you're waiting, go on, and you're just thinking, oh, is tonight going to be the night? You know, what am I going to... Oh, dear. But it's almost... Feel, looking at that, and I've not seen it before, it's almost got the sense of stand-up about it as well, hasn't it? It's, it always has that feel there slightly. Is. So, it's sort of storytelling as opposed to a play, a That's more conventional right. play. It is. It's just telling a full story, you know. And like I say, I do all the different characters. But, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's a oh. really, really lot of fun. And... There's a real, real joy and pleasure in it. Um, Jim, it's when you when you wrote it, did you have your son in mind? Well, not really. I mean, uh, it was uh, we auditioned a lot of people, to be honest, and uh, we weren't getting in what we wanted. And I said, "Oh, why don't you get get our lad in?" You know, and he came in, and everyone went, "Oh, yeah." But I wish we kept looking now. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Does it, does it re it's so, I, I think it's great. But you two just, you need to be a double act. Don't you? Well, so, do well, you do an act together? Well, you know these famous uh, theatrical dynasties like the Red Graves? And yes, the yes. And You're I, just I, like that. No, we're like step two and son. <laughs> <laughs> if you leave your card at stage door, we come and clear your garage. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to ask, James, if, if the night out that you tell the story of, does that bear any resemblance to any you've had yourself? Not really. I mean, you know, as a young man going out, you know, and, and I'm from a little working class town, you know, so, I mean, obviously you do that and people mm. go out and you you do get, you know, there, I know people who do that life, you know, but it's... 
Um, in, in some ways, um, I, you talk, it's a sort of weekend millionaires. It's mm. sometimes a thought as well, isn't it? So people have got, they're living at home and loads of money to spend. Is that right? That's right. Well, well these, not loads of not money. Lo no, right. it's weekend millionaire so because, because what if, you know, you get, say you get your 300 and think minimum wage is 320 you take home. So you've got your minimum wage. And then because you've no hope and there's no chance of moving on, you just blow it. You know, so you get cabs everywhere. You take yeah. your missus for a meal. You know, you're buying a bottle of champagne. And then you skin to get on. Worry about it afterwards. Yeah, that's it. And get, get involved in the cycle. It's been lovely to meet you both. Oh, it's been an absolute Thank pleasure. you very much Can indeed. we just say where it's on next? It's on at Scarborough next. Don't miss it. This Saturday, come on the Raz. Come down on the Raz. <laughs> Where's it going after Scarborough? Scarborough, Liverpool, <laughs> Wakefield. Oh, Latitude Festival and Edinburgh. And hey, Edinburgh. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, the noise levels have gone up so dramatically since oh. you two came in this morning. Oh, it's great. It's, oh, it's called Raz. It's called Raz. Thank Scott you very Scott much indeed. It's going to be fun, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> uh, we He's will coming. have a visual <laughs> beast for you in a moment. An incredible documentary filmed from orbit, which really gives you a sense of what it's like to be on board the International Space Station. You can be in charge of getting these two out. Next, the headlines while we escort them out of the studio.